Today we are out on the water searching for some giant bass and we are using some new unreleased soft plastics. Let's go. Yep. Oh, that's a big one. There's one. He's just sitting there just glowing in the sunlight. Whole population of the whole lake's in here. He might eat it. He did. I just sight fished one. Oh, dude, they're about to do the McNasty up in here. And it's not like I even had to let it sit. Are you kidding me? All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and hop on into it. We are down at the lake, and today we are going to be using the all-new Mock Soft Plastics. You guys might have seen some of these new Mock Baits on Instagram and a couple other places. I've been teasing it in a few videos, but we finally have the Mock Baits out, and they are now able to be purchased exclusively at Tackle Warehouse. If you guys do want to check them out, go ahead and look down below in the description. Use that link. That really helps me out personally. So thank you guys. We have got all different kinds of colors in the new Mock Baits lineup, and today in this video, these are the only baits that we're going to be using to catch fish. I'm actually down here today also practicing for a tournament. I have an upcoming tournament here on Saturday. So I wanted to get out here, see what the fish are doing, see if they're up shallow, see if they're out deep, see if they're doing a little bit of both. We don't ever really know. But let's go ahead and get rigged up with these new baits. I'm going to show you guys what I'm throwing and we're going to see if we can catch a big old bass. And our first combo is going to be the mock crush combo. And on that, we have a good old wacky rig with the mock stick. This is just a green pumpkin, really basic but that right there is gonna catch some fish if they're up shallow. And the second combo for the day is going to be the mock jacked medium light spinning combo. I've been using this thing for a couple weeks. I'm in love with this combo. This thing is awesome. And on there, we have the mock schooler. That mock schooler, you can throw it up shallow, you know, on the trees like a regular soft jerk bait, or you can throw it out there deeper on a little jig head like this. You can use it for live scoop, use it if the fish are schooling, whatever you wanna do. And uh, I've been catching quite a few fish using it this way right here. And we also have a vibrating jig with a mock schooler trailer on there. This is not just a mock bait, but we've got the mock bait on there. That's what's gonna get bit. And last but not least, we have a flipping setup with the mock crawl. This is a quarter ounce Texas rig. I've got this on a heavy duty flipping rod just because I'm planning on flipping some grass today. But we can put the worm on there, put the crawl on there. If you wanted to, you could even put the mock stick on there, but we're probably just gonna stick with that crawl on there for today. But that is our four combos that we're gonna start with. I may end up rigging up another rod at some point today, but for right now, we're gonna roll with these four. And before we hop into the fishing, I did wanna show you guys a couple of the colors that we have. If you guys do wanna look at all of them, there's a ton of them. Just go and tackle warehouse, you can pull up the image and it'll show you the colors. We have a bunch of different colors, but this lake is super clear, so we're gonna be throwing all natural colors today. But check some of these colors out, man. These things are absolutely beautiful. All right, so starting off with the mock stick, we've got your regular old baby bass, beautiful color, bubble gum, love that in the spring, green pumpkin, watermelon red flake, We've got mud candy, which is kind of a bluegill color. Those are all really, really cool. Like I said, there's a bunch more colors. We've got some schoolers. This is the watermelon red, which is what I have on that vibrating jig. We've got the mock flash, which is just a shad. And then this is a royal gill, which is a really interesting color to me, but it works. It catches them. We've also got the crawls. This is the Okeechobee crawl, so you've got one color on this side, the other color on the other side. I know that that one's blue. I don't even know what the other one is. It's probably brown or something. Two color blind. Then we've got some green pumpkin purple gold. This is what I'm actually flipping right now because that looks exactly like a little bluegill. Then we've got your green pumpkin. We do have some mock mega worms. I do not have one of these tied on right now. I may put one on today, but I will say this is gonna be key in the summertime throwing this worm it's not even really a super big worm i just don't know if they're going to be eating the worm today but we might end up throwing it to see if we do throw it today we're definitely going to be throwing this green pumpkin purple gold because that right there is going to be beautiful but yeah that's all the new mock baits right there if y'all do want to check them out be sure to look down below in the description they are exclusive at tackle warehouse you can't get them anywhere else and if you guys do use my link down below it does help me out I really appreciate it. I know you guys are gonna love these things. We put a lot of work into designing these and we've been fishing with them for a while now and we are very impressed with the way that they've been working and the way they've been catching fish. I know you guys will like it too. That's enough talking. Let's go ahead, see if we can catch us a bass. I'm pretty sure I remember how, let's see. All right, and let's get this thing started. I'm excited. 
I think that the fish are going to be biting really good today. And like I said, I'm practicing for a tournament and usually I don't like setting the hook on a ton of fish whenever I have a tournament. But since we're filming for you guys and we're showing off the new baits, we'll definitely set the hook into a few. Starting off with the vibrating jig, throwing that on the kick in their bass combo. If you guys do want to get that as well, I'll have that link down below. We're just going to throw this thing around a little bit. And once I get to little stuff like this tree up here, I'll probably pick up that wacky rig and flip it up in there just because that'll be a really, really good bait to just let soak right around that good cover. But right here, I'm just kind of throwing this down the bank, just seeing if there's any fish up there just cruising, patrolling around, you know, that might be hungry for a little bluegill. Our water temperature apparently is 72 degrees. 71, okay, it's dropping down. I was about to say, there's no way that that's right. I will say, whenever I was getting up here to this spot, I noticed that we had some water around 60 degrees. We had some a little bit below 60. And I even saw a little bit warmer than that. But we're just gonna have to kind of go around and see what the water temp is and see what the fish are doing. I've got a feeling that we're at least gonna find some smaller fish in these shallow pockets. I don't know about the big ones, but I know we'll find some small ones. Because if you guys didn't know, what happens is the buck bass, the males, they move up before the females do whenever they're going to spawn. So you'll usually catch those first. We're throwing this wacky rig now. I did want to show you guys something though. This is pretty cool. We put this design into this wacky rig. There's actually a little dot right there where the hook is and that's so you can rig it absolutely perfectly with that hook that is perfectly center mass so that way you have the perfect fall every single time with that worm not gonna lie to you wacky rig is probably the number one rated spring bass fishing lure it might be the number one lure overall but in the spring it is nasty they love it in the spring Throwing that on the mock crush. This is a medium. You can throw it on a medium heavy if you want, or even a medium light. You just gotta be careful about what hook you're using. But I like me a schmedium for my wacky rigs. Good old schmedium. I also have my sunglasses on today while I'm going around on the bank, just so I can watch because sometimes you'll see cruisers, sometimes you'll see them on the bed, and it helps to have some good polarized sunglasses. Like speaking of that, I see two bass, three bass, four bass right here. One of them is actually big enough to eat it. The other ones are not, but I just saw them swimming up the bank. We'll see if they'll actually eat. I don't know if they will or not. Sometimes they will if you throw it to them. And also sometimes they just don't. Now we're getting an accurate water temperature. Now it's reading 63, which honestly means they're gonna be on the bank. Or they should be. Because fish will spawn around 65. I don't know if we're gonna see any on the bed today, but I do think these fish are gonna be moved up. These almost look like beds all the way out here. I don't see fish on them though. I think they do look like beds. Oh, there's a bass. There's a bass back there cruising. I can see him. He's about a two pounder. Oh no, stop, stop. He actually might be bigger than two pounds. Oh no. He just darted off. Where did he go? I wish I would have seen him earlier. There he is right there. There he is. Oh, there's two of them. It's a pair. Oh, dude, they're about to do the McNasty up in here. They're gonna be on the bank today, boys and girls. That's cool. I'm glad I've seen a couple fish. Kind of depressing that I haven't hooked one yet, but I mean, hey, at least we've seen some, you know.
That was a bite. Hey! First one of the day on the stick. Feels like a decent fish. Nah, he's. Eh. I guess he's decent, I guess. He's a dang fighter, I can tell you that. Oh my gosh, he choked it. He choked it. Mmm. Mmm. That's fun. There we go. First one of the day. He's fat. He's not big, but he is fat. I'll give him that. He's been eating. Homie or home girl has been eating. Not a bad fish. Not what we're looking for to win a tournament, but not a bad fish. Real quick, I wanted to let you guys know that I will be at the Bassmaster Classic this weekend from March 22nd through 24th in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So if you are local to the area, be sure to stop by. We're gonna be doing some bait giveaways. We're gonna be having a meet and greet with a bunch of content creators, and it is gonna be a fun time. I'll see you guys there. Let's get back into the fishing. I see a bass, and I have a different one. I can literally see a different bass, and I just hooked this one. Okay, it came off. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm telling you, it's about to happen. I don't know where he went, but I seen him up there. He was up there just chilling, just chilling out. He was just sitting there, just glowing in the sunlight. Beautiful little bass. It's like every time you get to a little pocket or something like that, it's when I'm seeing them. I think we can get bit on these banks like this by a couple fish, but I think once we get back in these pockets, it's just gonna be McNasty. Yep, I see one. He's definitely gonna see me. He got spooked. Probably because I cast it on his head. Oh no, he sees my bait. Does he see it? Oh my gosh. Dude, there was a group of three of them just sitting here on the surface and they're big. They're still sitting there, dude. What are y'all doing, bro? What are y'all doing? There's one. Thought I was stuck on the tree for a second. Hey. I wish you were as big as the ones that I just saw. But you're not. You're not. But we'll take you. Appreciate you biting, Mr. Bass. Perfect top of the mouth. Let's go. Mock stick. Getting it done. There's definitely some down here in this pocket too, but I don't think I'm going to go all the way down there. I'm going to stay up here. We're going to go into this other pocket. Because this right here looks good. In theory, there should be fish in here. Because if you look at something like this, you got a couple trees. It's like kind of a little bit of an island that protects this whole pocket from the wind. So those fish, whenever they're looking to go make their bed, they want to make sure it's going to be out of the wind. They want it to be nice and protected. Want to make sure it has sunlight. And something like this is the perfect little place for them to move into. Well, it looks like the perfect little spawning pocket, but I guess the bass think otherwise. They do not like that one. There's one. Hey. Mm-hmm. That is a dink. Well, they weren't behind the island. They were in front of it. Yeah. It's fun either way. Even if they're not big, it's still fun to catch them. I got a feeling that Saturday is going to be a slugfest. 
up shallow. Oh, I see one. Came out from under that tree. I don't know how she didn't eat my bait. There's another baby right there. There's another one right there. Dude, they're literally everywhere. It's like an infestation. He might eat it. He did. I just sight fished one. <laughs> Let's go, dude. It wasn't on the bed, but this was a cruiser. That is honestly kind of hard to do. It, I mean, you can do it, but it's not like you catch very many cruisers that you throw at. That right there is a cruiser on the daggum mock stick, son. That was cool. I cannot believe that fish ate it. He definitely knew my boat was sitting right here. But I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. Springtime is here, boys. It's finally here. He's stuck on the log. They moved up. They're ready to go spawn. Ooh, baby. All right, we're coming up on what looks to be a pretty good little pocket. I'm gonna fish this pocket and then we're gonna make a move just because I don't wanna stay in one area for too long. I know these fish are moved up in here. I've kind of figured out what they're doing. And since we've got that tournament, if we do need to come in here, we can. And there might be some bigger fish that have moved up in two days. I'll tell you what, that beaver dam right there has got to have a fish on it. You know what I'm saying? There's one. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. That was a very unsuccessful boat flip. There we go. Right in the top of the mouth, baby. Let's go. They're so fat. Free spawn. I just need one that's like four pounds to do that. That way I can know there's some big fish moved up. Let's try something here. Let's try the crawl out. Let's see. Maybe we can flip this thing up on this beaver dam and get bit. I don't know. We're gonna try it. This is honestly probably the biggest beaver hut I've ever seen in my life. This thing is huge. It's all the way up there and it, all, it comes all the way out here. Homie's been living here for like 15 years. No, my steak. Okay, time to get a new one. Yeah, boy. Mm. so yeah if you guys get a pack of these you'll see what i'm saying but there is a a dot right there you just push your hook through it it's perfectly centered up that way you don't have to sit there and guess and your bait sideways nope you just put it right through the little circle you're good to go I told you we'd get one in this pocket. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. And on that note, we're gonna move spots. All right, 
right, spot number two. Let's see if we can find us a bigger fish in here. It's been really good in here in the spring in years past. I like the way this pocket sets up. I actually won a tournament in this pocket one time. But that's besides the point. And that was not in the spring. But this pocket has got a lot of rocks in it, a lot of wood in it. It's a little bit deeper. And usually in the spring, these fish will move in here real good. There's one right there. That was two pounders. Oh, show. That was a bite. Oh, yeah. Little guy. Ate it good though. Yeah. On the stick. Mm-hmm. Loving that thing. It smells like fish back here. No, he came off. Dead gummit. I watched him flash. Mm -mm -mm. Dude, what in the world? As soon as my bait hit the water, he was on there. He was not big. He came off too. Dude, are you kidding me? How many fish are sitting right here? Like, is this the same fish or is it just like a group of them? Like, I'm just confused because I just had three bites in a matter of 30 seconds. Like, what? That's crazy. And it's not like I even had to let it sit. Are you kidding me? What? <laughs> this is crazy, dude. What? Literally, as soon as I cast it up in there, it's just like, bam. Hello, there's a fish here. Like, how many fish are even in here, dude? Whole population of the whole lake's in here. It's crazy. Okay. Let's see if there's some more bass. Oh, that's a log. That does not sound good. There is, in fact, more bass. There's just a ton of these tiny little bucks back here. I mean, these are the smallest ones I've seen all day, but they still bite good, you know? Why is there so many of them? That's crazy, dude. Can't believe there's that many back here. Watch, I'll probably get bit right there too. Called that one. Oh, she had me stuck. She still has me stuck. All right, I got her out. This one's actually a little bit bigger. Still not big, but bigger than those last ones. There, it is crazy. This whole pocket is literally just stacked. Look how fat this one is. 
Good gosh, dude. Fatty McFatterson. See ya. Goodness gracious, there's a lot of fish in here. You know, normally, if I was uh, practicing for a tournament, I would not be catching fish like this, but these are so small, I don't even care. I'll catch every single one of them. It doesn't bother me. Not one bit. All right, one last cast, and we're turning around. I'm going to throw in this log. Maybe there's one on the log. There is a swirl right next to my bait. Called it. Easy money. Easy money, baby. Hmm, you got hooked in the tongue, didn't you? That is a uh, dink. And there he goes. It's time for you to go home. Hmm. This daggum bait is getting tore up. I think I can catch maybe one more bass on it. But considering the fact that I just hooked like 17 million back here, really not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Okay. New spot. This right here should be pretty good. We're gonna try something out a little bit different too because we've got a couple little floating docks over here. So we're gonna throw on those floating docks and see if we can get bit on those too. I highly doubt that's gonna be a pattern, but you never know. There's one. He is not in the back of a pocket. He is right here off of this point. Here we go. Got us another one. We're gonna finish out these couple little pockets right here. And then I've got one more spot I wanna hit. And then after that, we're gonna wrap it up. Up here we've got some really good trees. Really looking forward to throwing the mock stick up there. Cause I got a feeling it's about to get clobbered. It's gonna happen down here. I'm feeling it. I mean look at this lay down dude. Oh, I saw a swirl down there and I casted to it and it was a fish. <laughs> that works. Hey. Hey. No, he tore my stick. Hmm. All right, time for a new stick. I totally ruined this tree because I just drifted all up on it. Can't believe I haven't got bit right here. Swirl. Yep. Oh, that's a big one. 
or not big, but good. By far biggest fish of the day, by far. Oh man, I thought you were bigger than that. I thought it was like a three. It's not quite a three. Decent fish though. Come here, baby. Why did she look so much bigger when she came up and jumped? She looked like a daggum head. But you know what? We'll take you. You're beautiful. You're fat. Thank you. I love me a fat girl. Love me a fat girl. I'm just glad I got bit right here, dude. I was like, there's no way I can fish all these trees and not get bit. That was just ridiculous. I did. That was by actually a good fish. Maybe our day's starting to turn around a little bit. Last cast, then we're getting out of here, moving to another spot. Actually, maybe not the last cast because I see some bass. Oh, they see my bait. Called that one. It's a baby. Golly, dude, this is probably the smallest one out of the whole bunch. At least you bit it, though. Thanks. He ain't big, but he's a bass. See ya. On to the next spot. We're moving holes. We gotta keep looking for them. Keep looking for the dang big ones. All right. I think this is gonna be our last spot of the day. I think. But we'll see how it goes. I have high hopes for this area. I'm hoping that there's gonna be some grass back here. I used to love fishing back here when there was a lot of grass, but I don't know if it's still back here or if it died. I don't know. They got that boat up on the bank. That looks like a heavy boat to push in. Well, that's disappointing. I really thought they were gonna be back here. But we're not gonna end the video off like this. We gotta go catch us another one. So we're gonna go catch us another one. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. I was further back in this pocket. But I figured, hey, maybe they haven't gotten all the way back there yet. So let's try a pocket closer to the main lake because that's what would make sense. So we're gonna see if my theory is correct. I'm assuming there'll be some fish up here. There he is, finally. I thought they quit biting on me. But we got one to bite. There we go. Thank you, sir. You've brought back my hope. See you, dude. There's another one. Back of the pocket. Back of the pocket. I'm telling you guys, you gotta try these things out. These mock baits, they're legit. Link down below.